Hi, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. And I'm Allison Tupperwine. In this week's show, we're going to talk about some big design advances in wood processing machinery. Many wood processing mills defibrate their wood, which means they have to break the wood into its fiber components. These small wood fibers are most commonly used in thermal insulation of residential buildings. This is traditionally done using the impact force of a beater mill. Designers at Gresenbach have created whirlwind mills that can process more than twice the input of conventional mills while using the same amount of energy. In a whirlwind mill, the wood is first crushed into large pieces by beating tools. These large pieces are accelerated and fluidized in air. This flow is then pulverized by grinding tools. The rotor component of the mill generates air whirls, which increase the number of collisions of the particles as well as the shearing forces. The whirlwind mill's thorough pulverization of the material creates only one uniform, controlled grain size, which eliminates the need for any further sorting. The only pulverizing process more violent than this is the process required by Tony Montana to say hello to my little friends. Today's woodworking industry features highly automated production lines. These lines can be slowed down due to manual steps like inspecting and classifying lumber before it is cut. But this inspection step is totally necessary because knot locations, size, color, texture, and defects determine the end use of the lumber. Designers at Winnick have developed a scanner system that can inspect any type or size of wood almost instantly. By communicating that information automatically, the saw cuts can be automated to maximize the value of the lumber. The scanner completes these tasks in a fraction of a second, thus not slowing down the production speed. Great, yet another mindless job taken away from humans and turned over to robots. Why can't the robots do hard stuff so I can spend all day counting knots on a log, or playing video games? or trying to get my hipster artisanal cheese business off the ground. Winnick's most recent scanner, called the CombiScan Plus, is equipped with an x-ray sensor that can detect internal density differences in the lumber. X-ray sensors are also used when visual inspection is limited, such as with discolored or soiled surfaces. <laughs> x-ray. Wood product manufacturers are constantly faced with the challenge of where and how to stack the lumber. The challenge is even tougher in veneer production because after the drying process, the fragile veneers must be stacked with great care, very fast, and in very large quantities. Kind of like a game of Jenga, except with multi-million dollar robots who don't fold under pressure. Manpower is no longer enough, so vacuum stackers have been introduced. The stacking system is comprised of a welded suction box with pneumatic down pushers and a conveyor belt equipped with teeth. This design allows for a variety of stacking points and can be fed by a single, continuous conveyor. This stacking system has proven to keep up with the increased rate of veneer production while also staying accurate in the placement of the veneers. A great deal of the engineering behind large woodworking machinery relies on 3D CAD modeling. Creo's direct modeling tools allow designers at companies like Gresenbach and Winnig to easily calibrate and visualize design ideas you can try a personal edition of Creo from PTC yourself with a free for lifetime version. Simply go to ptc.com slash go slash modeling PE. That's it for this week's show. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.